In this video, I will teach you how to make a membership website where you're able to restrict content based on if you're a member of the website. So if we check out the website, I'm logged in and I can view this private content. And if I log out, then that content is not available. So if you'd like to learn how to set this up on your WordPress website, then watch this video. Okay, so first let's start by installing a membership plugin called Ultimate Member Plugin. So this will give us a membership functionality to our website. Yeah, so this one right here, over 200,000 downloads and click install. Okay, and click activate. Okay, so that's activated. So let's go to the ultimate member dashboard. Okay, so let's go to settings. Okay, so it's asking us to create the sample pages. So for the user profile and all the registration pages. So let's do that. Okay, click save changes. Okay, so just go to access. Okay, so how it's going to work is we're going to have um, protected content where only members can view, say, those videos or um, courses. So anything that you want to protect behind a paywall or uh, for logged in users. Okay, so these are just the email notifications. Okay, and then you can customize the appearances of each page through this section here. So this is the profile. Let's look at the registration forms and the login forms. Those are the, the most important. Okay, and this is just a miscellaneous we can just keep everything how it is by default. Okay, and this is just information on your server and uh, just the install links. So we just need to make some pages first. So let's make the home page. So add new. just the home page okay and let's just write only so let's publish this view the page okay so yeah this is just a home page demo so let's just set that up in the settings. Go here to reading. And then set the home page as home page. Okay, so next we're gonna uh, modify the menu. So it has all our necessary links. So just add this in the primary menu. Okay, and then home page, and then account, log in, log out, and register. Okay, and click add to menu, and then click save. And then let's view the website. Okay, so here are the main links now. So we're already logged in, so let's log out and create a new account. Okay, S account.
Okay. Yep, so we have an account now. And then let's create a page where if you're logged in, you can view that data. Okay, so back in the dashboard to create a page with restric restricted content, we want to go to pages and then add new. Okay, so let's just name this as private content. If you can see this content, then you are a member. And to protect this content, you just want to scroll down here to restrict access to this post and click. So who can access this post? Only login users. And then who can access? So when you subscribe, you're a subscriber. So just click subscriber and admin users. When user haven't had access, no. We don't need to enable this, just show the restriction message. So we'll set that up right after. Okay, so let's publish. And then view the page. Okay, so yeah, so because we're logged in, it's saying, if you can see this, then you are a member. So let's just update the message if you try to view that page and you're not logged in. So go to settings and then go to access. And then over here, restriction message. Okay, and then just click save. Okay, so let's just put that page in the main menu. Okay, and click save. Okay, so I'm going to visit the site and log out. And then log in. Okay, and then go to restricted content. Okay, so now it's saying you need to be a member to view this content. So this is working. So let's log in again. Okay, so this is our profile page and just go back to private content again. And now it's saying, if you can see this content, then you are a member. Okay, so let's just see some other features that are available in the membership plugin. So if you click forget your password, so this, they have a password reset function where you can just um, enter in your username and then it'll send you an email to reset your password. And then here they have the accounts page. Yes, yeah, so here they have the accounts page and here also you can change your password. And you can delete your account if you'd like. Okay, so lastly, we'll just clean up the menu so that you can only see links if you're logged in. So when you're logged in, we don't want to see the login link, right? We only want to see the logout link. So when you're not logged in, we want to show the login and register link. And when you are logged in, we want to show the account and logout link and also the private content link. So to do that, you would go into your main menu here and then you would click on the link that you want to protect and just click who can see this menu link you can click logged in users only and again you just want to set the admin and subscribers and then for accounts again it's only for logged in users do the same and then log out 
only for logged in users. And then now for the change to login, only for logged out users. And then the register, only for logged out users and click save menu. So we're currently logged in. So let's view the website. Okay, so you see here the top bar change where you're only able, we don't see the register and login link. We just see account and log out. Okay, and when we log out, you see here, now only the login link and the register link are available. So back in the login page, we're just going to log in again. Okay, so we're logged in again and then we're able to view the private content. So that's the end of this video. I hope you were able to add membership functionality to your website. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.